Hey there, and welcome to the weekly Asylum and Immigration Reform Update, where I share with you five recent stories of interest to asylum seekers and those who want to stay current on immigration news. This week, we're discussing Trump's calls migrants animals, says they are poisoning the country, Texas's immigration law blocked again, sparking national immigration debate, Trump proposes deporting Prince Harry over alleged drug use, DHS partners with AI firms to enhance immigration processes, Tyson Foods loses a major investor over migrant hiring strategy. I'm Brian Manning, and I used to be an asylum officer with the government, but now, as an asylum lawyer, well, I help immigrants all over the country to secure their future in America through asylum. It's my pleasure to bring you asylum and immigration reform updates each week, right here on the Political Asylum Lawyers YouTube channel. Okay, let's get to the news. First up, at a recent campaign rally in Ohio, Former President Donald Trump stirred controversy by labeling some migrants as animals and suggesting they are not people. In his speech, Trump painted a grim picture of immigrant-committed crimes and accused foreign countries of sending criminals across the southern U.S. border, despite lacking evidence for his claims. Trump's remarks echo his previous rhetoric, which has been criticized for dehumanizing migrants. Studies such as a recent one in the journal Criminology, however, contradict Trump's assertions, showing that areas with higher populations of undocumented immigrants often see decreases in violent crime. Despite criticism, Trump doubled down on his views in a Fox News appearance, claiming the country is being poisoned by migrants. His comments have reignited debates over immigration and the rhetoric used by political leaders to address it. And next up, for update number two. Texas finds itself at the epicenter of a national debate over immigration as courts wrestle with the fate of its contentious law, SB4, designed to curb illegal border crossings by empowering state officials to arrest people and enforce deportations. SB4 has sparked fear among migrants and condemnation from civil rights groups. Its brief enactment, followed by a federal appeals court's injunction, underscores the clash between state ambition and federal authority in immigration control. The U.S. Supreme Court allowed the law to be enforced, only for an appeals court to again hit the pause button just hours later. Local law enforcement voices concerns over practicality and ethics. The law's proponents argue for strict enforcement to deter illegal immigration, while critics warn of human rights violations and strained international relations, particularly with Mexico. The case remains tied up in litigation, its ultimate fate yet decided. All right, time for our third immigration update. Donald Trump has declared that Prince Harry should be deported, striking a chord with both critics and supporters. Amidst Trump's controversial immigration stances, this statement stands out, blending celebrity scandal with serious policy discourse. Trump criticizes Harry for alleged drug use, which can have immigration consequences, and suggests there should be no special treatment for the prince, igniting a debate on privilege, immigration laws, and the cultural impact of high-profile individuals in America. This bold claim has sparked conversations across the political landscape, with some viewing it as a potential bridge between contentious immigration views. Trump's critique extends beyond Harry's personal actions, highlighting broader issues of entitlement and contribution to society. As this discussion unfolds, it underscores the complexities of immigration policy and cultural integration in today's America, making us reconsider who is deemed worthy of the American dream. And moving right along, update number four. The Department of Homeland Security is revolutionizing its operations by launching three artificial intelligence-centered programs in collaboration with AI behemoths Meta, OpenAI, and Anthropic. These initiatives aim to enhance efficiency and effectiveness across various agencies. Homeland Security investigations will employ massive language models to sift through extensive data warehouses, aiding in the swift completion of investigation reports on serious crimes like drug and human trafficking. Additionally, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services is set to train its staff with chatbots for better initial assessments of asylum seekers. These pilot projects, supported by cloud giants Microsoft, Google, and Amazon, signify a monumental shift towards integrating AI into Homeland Security operations. By year's end, DHS aims to showcase the outcomes of these pilot initiatives, marking a significant step forward in governmental AI application. And finally, our fifth immigration update for this week. Tyson Foods has lost one of its major investors over the company's migrant hiring strategy, fearing it will alienate customers amidst the contentious immigration debate. Tyson Foods' commitment to hiring migrants and refugees as part of their collaboration with the nonprofit Tent Partnership for Refugees has stirred controversy. Tyson has said it seeks to hire more than 40,000 asylum seekers. 
Despite Tyson's assertion that their hiring practices are inclusive and lawful, the conservative fund believes that Tyson's strategy could backfire, pointing to other companies that faced backlash for political stances. Tyson, however, remains steadfast, emphasizing their opposition to illegal immigration and their rigorous employment authorization processes. This divestiture underscores the growing trend of investment decisions influenced by political and social values, highlighting the delicate balance companies must strike between business strategies and societal expectations. And that wraps up this week's immigration news. If you wanna win asylum in the United States, then you should call my office today. We help people all over the country, so it doesn't matter where you are. Call us now to schedule an asylum strategy session so that we can help you secure your future in America through asylum. Again, I'm Brian Manning, and it's an honor to serve you in your immigration journey.